Welcome to Cape Chronicle. Avon Crocker has recently taken over as the president of the board for the Fish Food Pantry of Cape Girardeau. This is an organization that's been serving the community for decades. Avon, thanks so much for coming in to chat with me. Now, I recently attended an event with you. It was a uh, an annual banquet for the Fish Food Pantry. And I really, I'm not gonna lie, I've given food through our church for the Fish Food Pantry, but I, don't, I didn't really know who all they served. And um, doing some research found that they'd been around for over 35 years, but who exactly does the Fish Food Pantry serve? The residents of Cape Girardeau. Mm -hmm. The outlying area in certain circumstances. Okay. So it never hurts to ask. And and it can be anyone? Anyone. The, there are no, no boundaries, no qualifications, no, you don't have to prove anything. Just if, if you're in need, give us a call. Okay. Um, and we'll have the phone number up, but um, uh, one of the things I'm curious about is how they get the food. I mean, because I know that they can call you, but what happens when that occurs, when someone calls? When they call, they talk to a volunteer on the phone mm -hmm. who assesses their situation and decides if they are eligible. Um, you know, we, we are a completely volunteer, voluntary organization um, in that all our food is given to us, cash donations, and that's how we operate. So we don't have any grants or any other means, so we have limited so we can't feed every resident in Cape Girardeau. Right. <laughs> but if you're in need, just make the phone call. The phone volunteer will assess it. And if you are eligible, um, meaning you haven't had it, re haven't been helped recently, mm -hmm. then you come to our location at 106 South Sprig Street. Mm -hmm. And then you get to meet us, the volunteers who um, work in the pantry and actually fill your order and you get what you get, and as my grandchildren say, you don't throw a fit, <laughs> <laughs> because it's all been given to us, and we are happy to be able to share it with uh, residents of Cape Girardeau who need it. Well, and in saying that, that it's all been given, uh, I know that I have given through church, but is that how all of the donations are received? Through churches, businesses, the hospitals, um, organizations like Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts, we have a major drive in October mm -hmm. with the Boy Scouts. But anybody, even individuals, will donate to us. So that's how we get the food, get the monetary donations, um, so that we can keep going and you know, it, it's worked for 36 years. <laughs> yeah, well, so those bags from the Boy Scouts that are always on my front door in October, that benefits the fish food pantry? Mm -hmm. well, not not us and not us alone. Right. Other food. Uh, pantries as well, but yes, we are one of the recipients of their hard work. Well, I did not know that. Well, mm -hmm. uh, we have a box at, at our church, yes, and I'm do. sure that other boxes uh, are located at other churches, and they're usually painted with a fish, and it mm -hmm. says fish on the inside. So um, that's good to know that there are other organizations, and I'm, I'm you know, there are probably, I think I read uh, in one article that, that some of the high schools, or maybe yes, I found the, it on the, the, on the, the schools, the elementary yeah. schools, all the schools um, do a food drive. Um, they like to do it, most of them, in the fall when everybody's mm -hmm. gearing up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. yes. sometimes the, they might have a dance and the admission fee is a can. No, oh, that's perfect. Um, the library, I know, has done that before. They have forgiven fines oh. on late books <laughs> if you bring a can of food. Oh, to donate to fish. Oh, I'll have to remember that next time one of the kids doesn't return a book. <laughs> All right, well, um, when is the, the food pantry open? We're open five days a week, Monday through Friday, 9 to 11.30. 9 a.m. to 11.30 11.30 a.m. Okay, and that's when it's staffed by volunteers. So right. So that's when it's available to... Um, so if someone were in need of food, and uh, maybe they could send someone that's available during that time, but you all do not do deliveries, is no, that right? No, we do not okay. do deliveries. Okay. Um, and then you also operate with volunteers, right? It's all solely yes. run by volunteers. 100% volunteers. Um, and we have many, and it takes a lot because we need a, a minimum of three volunteers each day. Oh, okay. So, you know, when you times that tw with the 20 days that we're open a month, mm -hmm. 
That's a lot That's of volunteers. That's a lot of volunteers. And we always need more because even though we have regular volunteers, you know, regular times do work, you know, sometimes they're out of town, people get sick, so we like to have a list of subs that we can call, at, you know, who don't mind at the last minute. And pantry workers and phone workers are not the only volunteers we have. Um, we are a member of the SEMO Food Bank, so when they have a food drive, we are the recipients of some of that too. We have to have somebody willing to go down there and get it and bring it back to us. Um, we have people who coordinate the phone work, the phone volunteers. We have people who coordinate the pantry volunteers. So, you know, it takes a lot more than just the basic two for the pantry and one for the phone. Well, they can always call you to to volunteer, and we yes. have the number up on the screen. So um, thank you, Avon, for coming by. I know a lot of people are probably going to want more information and be calling you, so you'll be waiting on that. Thanks, Avon, for joining us.